Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In tonight's video, I just want to discuss some um, positive developments we've seen in Australia's stance towards Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in, in the last couple of days. So, if you've been following my work since the start, you'll know that my dream is to see Australia become world leaders um, in innovation and technology in the cryptocurrency space, and this is a big step forward towards those goals. So, basically, both parties, Liberal and um, Labor leaders, have got behind this movement to try and become more proactive in their stances towards cryptocurrencies and blockchain um, in general. So now Senator Sam Dastriari um, has invited Andreas Antonopoulos to the Australian Parliament on a number of occasions to talk about Bitcoin and blockchain technology over the years and I have watched those, those talks. So the government have been keeping an eye on this for some time and it's good to see they've finally made a bit of a decision and at least a a path for them to possibly work forward from. So now another separate um, issue in this article here is the thought of Australia creating its own digital currency and putting the Aussie dollar on a blockchain of some sort. So I'll talk about I'll talk about that issue um, separately as we move through the slides. But another interesting development. So obviously this isn't a, a sure thing yet. Bill Shorten. Um, Labor leader did say in June that he'd rather call for tighter controls over Bitcoin use in the country. So this is going to get some pushback even from within their own party. So it's by no means a sure thing, but still a, a step in the right direction. Um, as I've spoken about countries that are taking pro-crypto stances as opposed to banning them. So here's the article itself um, in the, from the Sydney Morning Herald. And there's just a few... Um, quotes I want to go over here. So they basically want to make sure Australia's um, competitive in, in the um, industry in general as we move forward compared to those other countries that are already adopting it. And here's an example of the lack of understanding from um, members of parliament, I guess. So I don't get what the issue is. Don't they just melt all the coin bits they don't use? So obviously there's a real lack of understanding of what Bitcoin still actually is. Um, from senators, but that'll that'll come hopefully. But the digital currency has become a serious financial player, and Australia has been left behind if they do not pursue developing their own currency and um, using this blockchain technology to their advantage. I guess so. Now, this would put all transactions in Aussie dollars on a blockchain. So obviously, you know, it's an auditor's dream. Think of it: how much they can crack down on tax evasion and and all that sort of thing. So there's always a bit of a hidden agenda and the jury's still out whether this is overall a benefit or whether they're going down that totalitarian path of trying to pry on every aspect of our lives as we've seen the NSA and WikiLeaks expose in America and other countries. So just keep that in mind, but still overall a positive development if um, Australia's going to become crypto friendly. So the next thing I just want to talk about is in that same vein of thought, and Australia's created a black economy task force to deal with the basically the cash economy and um, tax evasion. So we have seen these articles about the black economy task force I just mentioned swooping in and recommending that Australia ban cash. Now, obviously, that's not something that I'd like to see, banning of cash and that sort of thing. Um, a number of reasons I won't delve into my political views too deeply, but the fact that we now have cryptocurrency, and if you've got the Coinbase or the Jax app or any cryptocurrency app, and you can just scan a QR code and give your friends money at the pub rather than waiting a few business days for money to clear between banks to pay, we've already got options, even if they were to ban cash. And another reason why cryptocurrency is taking off, and you know. People would have said, oh, this could never happen, but it, we've already seen some countries ban high denomination bills. So it's definitely something that don't be surprised if they start to push headlines over the next 12 months and then we do see maybe the $100 note um, getting banned. So Now, I'll just talk about how this ties into the world economy in general. So China's taken a bit of a pro-Bitcoin stance and we, I've spoken about the dominance of mining that happens in China, okay, from those huge mining pools. So... I've spoken about Japan taking a real pro-Bitcoin stance and those businesses that have adopted Bitcoin have already seen an economic boost lately. Um, an article that came out yesterday about Putin recommending $100 billion towards Russia becoming a big um, Bitcoin miner, a crypto miner in general. Okay, So obviously 
all these countries that are adopting Bitcoin are moving away from typical financial assets in some regards and a country like Russia and China that are superpowers on the world stage um, in, in terms of their GDP and their um, their, their growth, um, Russia in terms of their energy reserves, oil, natural gas, uranium, okay? Anything to do that they start to look to implement blockchain technology is just going to be huge for the price of cryptocurrencies, okay? So now finally, those those central banks and governments are moving towards a lot of radical measures, but one of them is buying tech stocks and the FANG stocks they call them, so Facebook, Amazon, um, Apple, Netflix, Google. So they're responsible for top five tech stocks responsible for 40% of the S&P 500's um, gains so far this year. And what we've seen is central banks, so the Swiss National Bank now owns billions of dollars of these stocks. And a couple of, a couple of things to think about here. So those big technology stocks are driving world stock markets higher. Reserve banks around the world, central banks, are buy, directly buying these technology stocks because they know this is the future. But I'd argue that cryptocurrencies and tokens, with now well over a thousand of them, those are the those have more growth potential than these already established um, businesses with close to a trillion dollar market cap, and they're all going to appear on the radar of um, investors going forward. And I've spoken about that a number of times. Okay, so again, really positive. Um, world stock markets at record highs, housing bubbles everywhere, negative interest rates in European countries. There's more and more reasons for people to park their money in cryptocurrencies. So I think that ties it up for that video. Just finally, I've um, been asked a few times how people can follow my work. So apologies, I did have following turned off on my Facebook. So now you can follow my um, posts on Crypto Australia, okay? Don't worry about that photo there. I did have my wisdom teeth out this week, so I'm doing my best to push through and um, still bring out some content. But if you do want to follow me in um, other ways, I have been staying to post to Steam it. I do have a Twitter account where I um, do try to get relevant articles out there. Okay, um, I've got my paid members area if you'd like to join that as well. So look, the Crypto Australia page has just been going from strength to strength. I think we're up to 4,600 members, okay? That's nothing in the scheme of things. If Australia can become a pro-crypto country, I want to see that at 100,000. And tell your friends about this stuff. It's exciting. There's money to be made in this space, okay? Get them on board. Get them on the Crypto Australia page and let's grow this community because it happens at the grassroots level. And the more people we, we um, get into this stuff, okay, the more people we're going to add cryptocurrency into their business model in some way or, or just into their life in general. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Give this video a like, share it around, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for tuning in.